This is Tony of Tony Ten Speed. I've often been asked what is the best, most comfortable bicycle seat I can get. I may not be able to specifically answer that, but I can give you some tips to point you in the right direction. Let's first look at the anatomy of the pelvis and how it relates to the bicycle seat. This is the model of the pelvis. The leg bones or femurs sit right in here. These are the ischial tuberosities or sit bones and these are the ischial pubic rami. Along the rami sit nerves and in males vessels that go all the way up towards the pubis. When sitting on a saddle in the correct spot and tilting slightly forward to reach the handlebars, the weight should be on the sit bones or ischial tuberosities. If you have to stretch out to reach the handlebars and bend too far forward or you don't have enough flexibility in the hip, you'll see that pressure is now placed along the rami where the nerves and vessels are, which can lead to dysfunction as pressure is placed on the arteries or, more commonly, pain and discomfort along the nerves. If you sit too far forward and stretch out to reach the arrow bars or handles as triathletes and some time trialists do, you can see that pressure is placed along the rami and can give you significant discomfort. Our first step in determining the correct saddle is to find the width between the sit bones and find a saddle where the sit bones are on top of the soft spot towards the rear of the saddle. We'll show you how to find that width and what to look for in a particular saddle. Wearing some thin shorts or your underwear, place a piece of tinfoil on a lower carpeted step or you can use corrugated cardboard. Sit down on the tinfoil, bend forward as though you were in a biking position, raising your toes slightly and hold that position for about 15 seconds or so and then go ahead and get up and you will have you can, on the tinfoil an impression of your sit bones. Bicycle saddles come in varying prices and varying shapes this is largely due to the materials used where the high end is often titanium rails, a thin shell, and sometimes light due to use of carbon. Uh, cutouts have become popular to relieve the pressure on the prudential artery that we spoke of uh, earlier. Comfort varies. Buying an expensive saddle does not necessarily mean it's going to be more cushy, nor a larger saddle with lots of gel or fabric is not necessarily going to mean it's, it's more comfortable. Sometimes the gel or fabric will easily deform and put more pressure on the sit bones. Once you've determined the sit bone width, some people, in my case it's around 94 millimeters, some people advocate buying a saddle that's about 35 to 45 millimeters greater in total width. My preference is to go down to the bike shop with my ruler and measure 
where the sit bones would actually hit on the saddle to make sure that they are in the sweet part and most comfortable part of the saddle. Some bike stores have boxes of saddles so you can actually place them on your bike and try them out. In the next part of the video, part two, we'll show you how your position on the bike is critical for comfort as well as the position of the saddle that is for aft position, the height can also greatly affect comfort.